Scientists at Ohio State University say they've grown the first near-complete human brain in a lab. So it's now official, uh, we're living in a sci-fi movie. <laughs> we're living in the future. This is the same thing, like when we talk about climate change, how I now say, no, no, stop talking about it as if it's something that's going to happen in the future. Somewhere out there, far, far away. No, it's happening right now. We're seeing the effects of it right now. Same thing with this. With technology, we're, we're just living in the future. There was another article I saw, I think it was yesterday, where it was like a robot running in the woods. And it's creepy, man. They have like human-like robots now. Uh, dog-like robots, like mechanical dogs that move like dogs. You're like, what the fuck am I looking at? And it just, it, it's progressing so fast, it's like exponentially fast. And I don't know how to respond to it. Part of me is like, oh, sweet. But the other part of me is like, oh, where's this going to end up? I don't know. I don't want to get conspiratorial. I don't want to pretend like I know shit I don't know, because I don't know anything about this. But there is like a gut feeling that I have, and I think many people have, where we're like, where's this going to end up? Nobody's more pro-science, nobody's more, more pro-technology than me. But that doesn't mean there aren't possible downsides. I mean... You know, if we're not careful enough, it could be that we use science and technology to create some sort of weapon that could wipe out hundreds of thousands or millions of people in a second. Oh, we already did that? Oh, okay. Uh, so, Huffington Post reports on this, they say, The brain organoid, nice word, if licensed for commercial lab use, could help speed research for neurological diseases and disorders like Alzheimer's and autism. The brain, engineered from adult human skin cells and grown in a dish for 15 weeks, is about the size of a pencil eraser. It has the maturity of a five-week-old fetal brain and contains 99% of the genes in a fully developed human fetal brain. They say there's no ethical concerns in this case because, quote, we don't have any sensory stimuli entering the brain. This brain is not thinking in any way. Yeah, I believe them because they're scientists and they're smarter than me. But, come on, we can't deny this is getting creepy. This is getting creepy as fuck. Now, again, it's necessary because what they're doing is they're trying to cure Alzheimer's and autism. And they go on to say it could also help for PTSD. It could also help for other psychological symptoms and issues. And here's how. So, I'm for it. But, make no mistake about it. It's just, it's just starting to look weird. It's starting to feel like we're in some sort of sci-fi novel and... You and I are just along for the ride. So let's see where it ends up.